Okay, now it's recording. Seth Rauscher. I'm going to show you how we repair expansion joints here at Rauscher's Pool Care. Uh, first thing, it's a dirty job, so you got to dress appropriately. Um, and I'm, here's all the tools and uh, materials I use. Um, I really like this uh, Nova Link Slam. It comes in these nice big tubes. It's really easy to shoot out, um, and it uh, it's a really good material actually I have no affiliation with them I just like using it um, it's actually it's actually really safe it's actually edible but I recommend bringing um, a lunch <laughs> instead you know um, they got my ice water and fruits and nuts in there because you know you don't really want to leave somewhere when you're doing this job you want to be able to just snack and, and drink as you're working um, so this one's for the gun uh, this it's all we also got a bag. It's also got a bag one here, too um, With a little cap and this way you can just use a little bit of it at a time and seal it back up um, Mostly the gun is easy to use um, I got this silver grit uh, 30 grit sand uh, You've used that to pack inside the joints and you use it to top on t on top of the caulk um, Some backer roll foam got a variety here so whatever works best we're gonna cut out and remove these joints and uh, why don't I show you that now we've already cut out and removed a joint up here and it's a it's it's a different kind of joint um, it has no foam inside there as you can see it's a very narrow um, joint and it was very difficult to remove it all out scrape it all out but it's done and now what I'm gonna do is just clean all this crap up with a shop back. It's really quick. You get the idea. Um, and then I'm gonna grab my wire brush, which is So then I'm just going to go in the joints with the wire brush and clean everything out as best as I can. This joint is so thin that I think we're just going to have to kind of go over it again with the... Um, five and one tool we've noticed the five and one tool seems to be the best at these kind of difficult joints like this because um, it's got these angles you can just kind of get in there and scrape it out like this so we'll go back over this touch it up a little bit get it nice and clean um, So when you're using these, remember those are the big guys. We got the big one for the big guys, and we got the small one for the little guys. This, what we're going to use this for is um, to hold down the backer rod when we um, when we put it down in the joint, and we'll show you that later. Um, I'll also keep rags and uh, some rubbing alcohol handy. Rubbing alcohol will um, dissolve the this this brand this nova links brand um so it's great for the cleanup um yeah and that's about it just you know make sure you have all the right tools probably won't use a hammer or a chisel but you never know hmm. um this is also a great tool for ripping out the uh the old deco seal or whatever it is that they have used as you can see it just slices right along the edge real nice And then you just pull it on up. And as you can see, here's their old foam 
shotgun in there. Uh, it looks like we may not be able to shove foam in there. I think we're gonna, on this job, it looks like we're gonna take this sand and just pack it down into the joint. Um, you have to have something down there in the joint that's gonna um, keep the, the caulk that you put in from sinking down. Um, if it's, there's, there could be shifting sand under there and um, you could pour this, this uh, caulk in there and it'll just continue to fall down. So um, the 30 grit sand is the, the, the stuff you wanna use for that. It, um, you use it on the inside and you use it to top the finish. That's it. Right, that should be good enough for now. I'll let you. Huh? I'll let you turn it off. Okay.